was not expecting this when I woke up. Amanda can't walk in heels. I don't know. I'm getting old. My ankle like tightened up. And it hurts. <laughs> we are in Park Slope tonight. We're going to this workshop. It was on the uh, website theskint.com. It's a great website if you live in New York City and you're looking for like cheap or free things to do. So this workshop is called Sex and Chocolate. Ooh. So I don't even know it's what. funny because Mark sent the invite to me and like that's the first thing I see. And I was like, what? what are we going to? I like put the name of the place and the whole title pretty much of the event and I put that in Google and pictures started popping up of sex toys and I was like, oh my God, I was at work. <laughs> and the thing is, we're doing paleo, so you can't even eat chocolate. And we're going to a place called Babeland. Mark had a nice little surprise. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was a sex store. <laughs> That's, and Amanda knew, so we walked in, and I was like recording everything, and I didn't even realize and the woman came over and she's like, sorry, there's no recording in here. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oopsie. A video in the store. Mark was like so oblivious to everything. Like he just walked in, he's looking at like the lights and the left wall that has like the chocolate. Yeah, there was all a next to him to the right are like a full wall of <laughs> 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 dildos. And it was all the elect, they were high tech dildos too. It was really funny. So one of the, Toys is wireless, oh. so you control it from your phone. Now that was in a movie somewhere. I can't remember what movie it was. What movie? Uh. Like she's at dinner. Some I woman's know. at dinner. Oh, it's... I know what it is. I cannot. We're gonna talk about the rest of it when we get home because it's too cold. My hand is freezing holding this thing up, and the people are trying to get by us. Fork be with you, Amanda. Amanda, I'm creeping on you. Here's Amanda's ultimate Cholula. condiment. Cholula on everything. What were you saying you wanted? Oh yeah, from that awesome burger I had yesterday. Yeah. Got one of these oranges yesterday, last night. Oh my God, they were so good getting another one. These aren't my favorite though. My favorite are the Tangellos. And a little chicken salad. Crazy Friday night. Amanda's volumizing her hair. We're back from our little walk. It was too cold so we're like, we can talk about sex and chocolate here. It was a workshop, right? Yes. So it's a sex shop. Now Mark knows now I know. it's a sex shop. And they had chocolate people show up and they had some delicious chocolate. The woman uh, selling it convinced us that it was paleo. <laughs> so it was made with cocoa. So, so here's our chocolate bar. They have their own factory in Bushwick. So this is their business card and this was $7. But it was really good. Findandraw.com. So it's mostly paleo so we're like, you know what? Let's just get it. Let's support these guys because they were cool. The girl was cool. Chocolate was delicious. Mm -hmm. And they're in Bushwick. But during this little workshop, this woman got on a stool and she basically told us how to put chocolate all over your partner's body and lick it off. They're promoting like body types and just being like comfortable oh, yeah. and how to use chocolate in a sexual way. They're like, so it was pretty have, much just giving like tips. Yeah, they're like, it's going to be messy. It's gonna be crazy, but have fun, be comfortable. And so I kind of zoned out while she was talking, <laughs> just for like a second, but I really liked her. She but was a great talker. You zoned out but I it. zoned out because I saw these in the background. I couldn't really see the top part, I just saw a patch and sours. And I was like, ooh, candy. And then I was like, wait a minute, pecker patch sours. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even care because they look, I don't, you know, it made me feel a little weird eating those little, eating those things, but. <laughs> they probably taste so good. Probably, hopefully they're like Sour Patch Kids. So, 
Like Sour Patch is like one of his favorites. That's so. the ultimate can. That's my favorite. We can't eat them right now though. Yeah. So we might have to wait until stare March. Stare at the little sugar penises. Yeah. Ha. Chewy peckers. Oh my god. Why is it yellow too? Of all the colors they picked, they're like, let's make it yellow. Like it's diseased. <laughs> it was fun. It was real short. It was cool. Everybody there was nice. Yeah. So in current events, <laughs> yeah, with that. I'm not sure if you guys heard, but you must have heard. You must have heard because my mom texted me before I even went to work in the morning, before I got on the train. She was like, are you okay? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, a crane fell. So what ended up happening to those of you who may not have heard about it, it was really windy this morning and it snowed last night and they're doing construction down in Tribeca area. So they were in the process of securing the crane and like bringing it down. And in that time, um, there's like actually a video. There he goes, he's moving fast now. He's dropping it really quick. Whoa! Now, looks like it's gonna oh. Holy Oh my God! It's falling. Whoa. It's falling. It's falling. The whole oh, it broke. All the oh. Sadly, one man was um, killed. When things happen in New York City, people are like, "Are you all right? Oh, are you yeah. all right? You know yeah. what's going on? It happened. Happened." Well, actually, yeah, that's they know before we do. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't even find out until this afternoon. One of my <laughs> patients told me too, and I was like, "What happened?" And then Amanda gave me the the of the update. So Amanda's gonna cook up some of that hamburger and hopefully. It... I thought you were gonna cook it. I'm. Co you want it raw like I cooked it? No. Can we just make like hamburger? So I guess I'm gonna cook it. Mark's better at cooking that stuff. I don't like it. I'm just better at cooking. No. Maybe. We're like tired. Yeah, I'm telling you, this cauliflower when you you put a little olive oil on it and you bake it, and then some salt and pepper on it, it's like potato chips. Here's the ground. That grass fed. Oh, those are some monster burgers. Friday night with Mark and Amanda eating cauliflower and burgers. So we're just gonna stay in and watch a movie. But I was thinking, I kind of miss renting movies. She doesn't. I think it's fun to like do a little trip. You drive out to the movie store. You like look at the new releases. Cross your fingers and hope that they have it in. And then you're all excited, you come home, and then you get ready. And it's nice not having to leave anymore, but I just kind of miss going to the movie store. Amanda's like, hell no. Nope. Yeah, so anyways, we're just gonna hang out here, watch a movie, eat our burgers and cauliflower. For those of you who didn't see the video I made a couple weeks back, it was 23 and Me, right here, watch it. They said that it was gonna take six to eight weeks before the results came in, and it's only been like four weeks and I got an email saying the results are in. I haven't looked at the email yet because I want to do it with you guys so you guys can see my face and my reactions and they'll be genuine, so I'm waiting, but I'm gonna do the video this weekend. So yeah, so keep... It'll, it'll be released soon, I don't know when. Just in case you guys didn't see the video, like you said, or you don't know what 23andMe is, that's basically just a genetic test. So it shows you your ethnic background, what your race is, what diseases you may or may not be at, at risk for. Yeah. So look for that video. We're gonna, we're gonna Netflix and chill. <laughs> So since we're doing paleo now, we have to get creative what we eat. So Amanda. Yes. Question. If you had to eat one vegetable for the rest of your life, you can only eat <laughs> one vegetable, what would it be? Zucchini. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Is sweet potato a vegetable? Oh, it is. It is, right? Yeah. I think I would probably go with sweet potato. Dang, I didn't even think about that. If you guys had to eat one, you could only pick one vegetable to eat for the rest of your life, and you had to eat it with every meal. What would it be? Let us know, like the video, subscribe, and see you next time. Have some cauliflower. Have some.